Good evening, people of God. Once again, welcome to another edition of Time Out with Tony Dyson. And of course, once again, this is Tony Dyson. And as I've said before, I really do hope that this has helping someone in their journey and their walk with Christ. On today, uh, I don't have a particular topic, just going to do a little bit of real talk on today. And one of the things is, uh, if I may go to a scripture right quick, it says, He that hath an ear, let him hear. And people of God, what I'm saying, or what the scripture is saying by that is, you know, if you have an ear to hear what the Lord has to say, that you will hear. There's so much foolishness going on, so much greed and hatred, and there's just a lot of stuff going on right now. And at this point in time in our life, and at this point in time in the world, it's time for us to choose whom side that you're going to be on. And as for me at my house, we will serve the Lord. But you know, people of God, I find it kind of funny that um, when you're at work or out in public places that people can curse and tell dirty jokes and racist jokes and use racial slurs and remarks and talk about other people and call them all sorts of names. And it's totally acceptable. But as soon as you say something about God, how great God is, or talk about Jesus, it, it starts a whole slew of things. For instance, um, in school, they've taken prayer out of the schools. And uh, I've heard in football games, children's football games, high school football games, that you can't pray. But then you look at on national TV, and whether it was playful or not, I took that thing seriously with Jack Black and the VMA Awards. And he just had everybody play, pray to uh, Satan. And you can't play with God like that, whether if it was for real or from play. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. So those people who sat there and actually prayed to, to Satan, <laughs> you know, now had the roles been reversed. Where somebody said, well, let, let's pray to God. Uh, the plug probably would have been pulled on them. If someone would have took the time to thank their Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it would have been some type of uproar. So people of God, what I'm saying is right now is it's time for us to take a stand. It's time for the church to take a stand. Stop misconstruing God's word. Stop leading people astray for fame or for fortune. Stop sugarcoating the word to fit your congregation. See, people of God, what it is right now is that these people in the world, they're looking for something. But they can't trust the church. And that is a sad, sad day when people can't trust the church. People have been scarred by the church. People have been maimed by the church. People have been mistreated by the church. Somebody may have walked in the church and got so many dirty looks and you know because maybe they dress was or apparel was not up to par and sat down on the pew and people scooted away from them. Pastors have taken uh, people's light bill money, talking about how God is going to bless. And I'm going to get into that at a later time. But people of God, what I'm saying is now it's time for us to show and shine the light of Christ. Show some compassion and show some love. And those of you who are looking for God, he is out there. But And, and I hope that you, if you've been scarred by a church, a scarred by a congregation, a scarred by a situation, that you do not let that hold you from God. See, those ministers and pastors and evangelists, they will be held accountable. All you can do is do what you know for Christ. Do what you know for God. See, you don't put your faith in that man. You put your faith in God. See, because man is built to deceive. <laughs> man, man will fail you every time. But you put your trust in God. So as of right now, I'm saying we, we need to get our act together. Amen. There's so many different religions and so many different branches, AME, Baptists, and, you know, all, all this other stuff. It, no, 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 no. It's all wrong. When Christ came out from 40 days and 40 nights and fasting, one of the first words he said to the, to the disciples is repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand, not Catholicism, not Missionary Baptist, not Pentecostal, not AME, not Apostolic, not Jehovah Witness. 
He told Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church. And the rock meaning himself. Upon me, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. He never did say that they were not going to come against or try to. He said, but they will not prevail. So I really hope some people from other uh, religions, well, not, not say religions, but other denominations catch this and look at this. Because if we believe in one father and one son and one Holy Spirit, why can we not? Why can't we not worship them as one? So now you got the world looking we, we, to the world. We look like a bunch of gangs running around. So, so, so those people who are searching for God, we are hindering them in their walk. That pastor who's preaching the sermon to fit his congregation, who's letting homosexuals or whatnot run his congregation, and that pastor who's sleeping with whomever, you're hurting the church. And I'm sorry for putting this out there like that. Now, don't get me wrong. No one is perfect. But if you're in charge of a flock, or in charge of discerning God's word. You must strive daily. You must kill your flesh daily. Amen. And, and, and once again, for the people who are looking for God, find you a great church with a teacher. Visit. You know, some people say, well, child, just as long as you're in church, no. No, no. Some people's mothers say, well, as long as you're in somebody's church, no. No, that is not cut it because all churches are not given the true gospel you must find a church that is teaching how to apply the principle king i mean the uh, keys to the kingdom to apply the principles of the kingdom you must find a church that's not just preaching prosperity see because all that all those things will come the word says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you so once you seek god First, all things will be added unto you. Things meaning stuff. People of God, let's get it together so we can help the world. That's what we are here to do. Christ did not have a problem with the sinners. He knows that they need help. But he, he has a problem with us helping them to continue to sin. I do thank you all once again. God bless you and God keep you. Amen.